Okay, so it's Battle Report time. I'm here with Mr. Ellie with his Space Wolves. Again, we're playing a 1500 point game. Um, Space Wolves versus Eldar. Uh, we've rolled Seize Ground and Pitch Battle Deployment. Um, objectives are located near, 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 and sort of near. Um, yeah, so Ellie, why don't you tell us a little bit about your list? Uh, it's, it's a little bit, you know, not much different from the last one. So I've got um, a little drop pointing squad in ground to with Arjak again. Yep. Um, this time it's a normal drop because the Vendables are worth the points. We've got a block pull unit again as a rule pen. Yep. And another ground unit is back now. Dropping in, dropping in, dropping in, and then it's just sitting there. So that's where those guys deployed. Um, I've, I'm, not, I'm not deep striking anything, I don't really have anything to deep strike with, anyways. Um, got the Night Spinner sitting in the corner because it's awesome with its little ordnance, 70 kill its range. Um, these guys are Storm Guardians, uh, they've got two Flamers and the Warlock with Destructor, which is also a flame template. Um, Wraith Lord with a Bright Lance and two Flamers. Uh, a Wave Serpent with a unit of Fire Dragons in it. Uh, Farseer. Dire Avengers, Fire Prism, and a Jet Seer Council that is not painted and probably will die first as a result of this. Um, so I'm playing a few new things, Ellie's playing a few different things, so this should be fun. Obi Tired Elder. <laughs> Ellie, what happened in your turn, man? Um, my guys, well, our Jack Seer came down, tried to fortify this objective. So he came down, and then my came up to try and control this objective. And the general came down to try and do something to this fire prison. But nothing. nothing. Uh, however, the thing about the book of the world. Oh, the whirlwind. Whirlwind, that's the one. Whirlwind dropped a massive fat template on the Dire Avengers and wiped out seven of them. Um, so that was bad for me. Then in Eldar turn, we had Fire Prison turned around and successfully managed to shoot the shit out of the Dreadnought, but only managed to score ones on the damage, which was pretty average. Um, the Dire Avengers, because there wasn't very many of them, just moved around with uh, two of them blade swarming and did not. Oh, sorry, put a wound. Um, the Farseer Council ran, ran around and killed one, well, two, two, yep. two with back numbers, and then Arjak turned around and just wiped their faces off. Kaya, <laughs> bang. <laughs> um, all these guys advanced up. Um, the Red Lord put a pop shot over at the Black Horse. Yeah, cover save missed. Um, Night Spinner fired off over into that side, but. So, and the uh, wave seven moved up. So Elder, that was kind of abysmal, but I'm thinking that I might be able to recover, because I reckon over here, I reckon I'll be able to, put, if I can move that over to that objective, I've got it, because there's four flamers coming from that unit. Two, one, so five. Two, one, and two. So that's enough to discourage anyone, really. Um, over in this just whole side, that's just a route. <laughs> this is kind of the wild card. I don't know. I don't really know whether or not I'll be able to do anything about these guys. I might be able to... I could kill them with the fire dragons. I'm not really sure, but we'll see how we go. Uh, you can go for it. Do it now on camera. Because you're the only one who can attack. So. Let's see whether or not the Dire Avenger dies. Ah, uh, no. Let's see. Oh, okay. Alright, so <laughs> they're just gonna chill there. Uh, it's hard fitting. Alright, so a lot of interesting, weird, just kind of weird stuff happened. A lot of really, like, a lot of stuff happened, but a lot of stuff didn't happen. Um, the five prison moves. Okay, so actually, no, Space Wolf turn. Let's summarize what happened. So we had Space Wolf turn. That's a transport with all the fire dragons I got scared about. So I just thought I'd try and pop it open and assault them. Assault them. Didn't happen. Shot with Living Lightning, didn't do anything. Shot with you know, anti tank, didn't do anything. So I just that, assaulted it. Because that cover saved, uh, sorry, the turbo boost saved. So. Correct. God. So then I assaulted it and still didn't pop it open, but this is Thunder Hammer. Hit it with Thunder Hammer, sorry. Can't really do anything. And my heavy boulders from here. Shot at the fast skimming fast here. 
and he passed all his gun saves for the wrong room, so nothing happened. He loved it. And that combat, as you saw on camera, was unaffected. So nothing really happened there. Um, so then in my turn, the Farseer who was originally here passed off Doom at these guys, but was negated by the um, Rune Priest um, special staff. Um, but he did manage to get Guide off. Um, and everything... Okay, the Night Spinner and Fire Prisms shot off at these guys and missed with both horrendously, <laughs> which was really bad. Um, the only real interesting thing that kind of happened was the Farseer moved over to here, Turbo Boosted over, which was awesome. Um, and then all of the um, Storm Guardians and the Wraithlord all jumped into here so that they can't be shot to pieces with the... Um, whirlwind. But that did manage to knock off like five or six of them before they jumped in, so yeah, very interesting. Turn three. So end of game turn three, a lot of really weird stuff happened that probably shouldn't. I was exceptionally lucky again in um, that in Space Wolf turn. Kelly, why don't you summarize for us? Uh, I don't really remember. I, um... I made a mistake here, but I, instead of shooting it, shooting the transport that was there, I, I assaulted it first, blowing it up, and uh, leaving these guys to shoot that squad to, to heck, and now they're falling back. Uh, the Ragnar squad came down, came down yep. and got shot by... And the Fire Prism tank shot this, but the Thunder Hammer dude managed to death all glory and stun it because of pain. Um, and, big and all those flames has managed to kill three boots. Four. Four. Um, and the Knight's gonna got his little thing off, so if they move there in dangerous terrain, which is awesome. Um, so, game's looking pretty abysmal. <laughs> That's the end of turn, Space Wolf turn four, um, and everything Eldar pretty much died. Um, the Flamers, uh, sorry, the squad that was here with dangerous terrain lost, I think, three or so models, got forward, got Ragnar just smashed out the rest of that uh, lot, and they ended up fleeing. Um, all those guys charged up and the Rune Priest by himself took out the Wraith Lord before he had a chance to hit back. I think three, three sixes are all three sixes with three dice to wound. That's why I've done the Wraith Lord. He got all his luck back. <laughs> all in that last yeah, little bit. Um, Strength five because of the furious charge. So that's all, that's all my troop choices out. Ellie, yes. points in the game that you would change, things you would do, what would you do differently next time? Um, what I would do differently, what I would do differently. Um, take out those fire dragons quicker. Yeah. They, they, yeah, they hurt me here because they made a jack flee. They just shot him. They just shot him. They shot him to pieces. They made him flee, which, which like, you know, I can't. can't I've got nothing really to hold on the side of the wall. So I need to take out stuff that's really going to hurt me quicker. Yep. Uh, I feel like they're fire dragons. I don't. That's what I'll do to take out. Um, I feel I don't really know what I would do differently. I think the Jet Seers, I probably would have been a little bit more savvy with the way that they worked, <laughs> rather than just charging them in and not really knowing how they played. Um, I just kind of chucked them up against R Jack, hoping for the best. Um, I don't know. I feel like the things. I feel like the Dire Avengers died before I could really use them the way that they shine. You shut down my psychic. Once, once that um, Runes of Warding was gone, you managed to shut down my Psychic Phase really, really quickly and knock out that. Um, I don't really know. I, I don't think I really could have done... I'm not really sure what more I could have done to have been it because every... You know, just having like such a high armor value really fucked with me. And I don't feel like I got enough shots to be able to deal with it. I think because my close combat base, it seems like getting there. Yeah. I don't know if I think that against me, you're going to take really good combat units on how it feels like they yeah. need to. Cause Absolutely. Like I said, even back when the city has been charged in, if that was, was Benchies, that whole unit's going to be yeah. oh. Yeah, I think it's very much list stuff. I just don't think. <laughs> well, it was a very fun game, though. I mean, like we both just kind of played with lists of stuff that we just wanted to enjoy using, like lots of game characters for Ellie and the Jet Seers for me. So that was pretty good. And the shake had to be done. Thank you very much. Always, always.